These are some of my options for 2024 as my bullet journal. This year I have been working with uh, Stellogy notebooks for my bullet journal. I started the year in a Stellogy A5 and the second half of the year I'm working with a Stellogy B6. I have been very, very happy with this notebook, uh, mostly because of the paper. Uh, I have a very strong preference for white or white-ish paper and very thin paper. So this paper is everything I look for in a bullet journal. Um, also but mostly because I like working with watercolor and with lots of mind liners and I like that white paper lets me see the colors of the media I'm working with. I like thin paper. It reminds me of Hobonichi. And yeah, like this paper, love it. But for some reason, these kind of notebooks, uh, soft cover, uh, they feel kind of informal. <laughs> um, and I have been kind of missing, you know, hardcover notebooks. These, the Leuchtturm notebooks and Moleskine, I mostly use them as journals. Uh, for my bullet journal, I have been preferring this kind of paper. But as I started working with this Moleskine, kind of like a catch-all, everything kind of notebook, uh, journals, ideas, planning, lists, master lists, and also a little bit of bullet journaling, um, so, like so, and carrying this with me everywhere, uh, I, I I kind of started missing these kinds of notebooks with hardcover and a closure. Even I I I guess I feel more formal, more um, I guess formal is the main word, um, but. I guess it's mostly a vibe, a feeling that the notebook has when it's hardcover and when it has a hardcover and I have, I was going through some of my old bullet journals I don't keep all of them, I recycle most of them and only keep the ones I really really like and as I was going through them I remembered how much I like these two notebooks actually out of all my bullet journals I think the ones I'm most attached to are these two. And there's nothing extraordinary in them. I never, I haven't really gone back to the things I wrote in here or any of my bullet journals for that matter. I don't go back to them. Um, it's very rare for me to look for notes in them because they only pertain to that particular year. And once that year has passed, um, I migrate the, the important information. So there's really no need for me to go back to them. But these two bullet journals, oh, I just like them so, so, so much. I love the layouts, I love my weeklies, but mostly kind of the whole vibe of these notebooks. I like the way they age. So I was going through them and I decided to go back to one of these for 2024 because I was very happy with these bullet journals. I decided to go to with a regular Leuchtturm. I love them, I use them a lot as journals. I think my some of my main notebooks for journals are Leuchtturm. This is a German brand and yeah, I decided to go back to these ones. So at first I thought I would be working in 2024 either with, with another Stellogy or with uh, Nanami Cafe. It also has white paper, Tomoe River paper. I actually kind of pre-set it up, you know, with my future slash vision log. I did some monthlies and then I went back to the kind of monthlies I do uh, currently with the list form and I kind of played a little bit with the way my weeklies would look like. So, my main cho choices for 2024 have been these and they released this lineup is the green and this kind of brick red and there's a very light gray i loved that color palette 
this is not, not from the color palette but this green I fell completely in love with this green notebook and I hope the light and the camera do justice to this color because it's absolutely stunning and so this is my choice for the first half of 2024 and following on the tradition of having a postcard as a cover because you know it sets the mood for my bullet journal for the year it sets it has its, its own vibe its own personality but it gives my bullet journal a face and a personality so because I had the perfect postcard for this so hear me out so this is my whole thought process so I decided to go back to a hardcover lectern because I love them so um, I had this postcard this one I bought it in 2014 I cut the back part because I was also using it for a notebook and I thought this was just perfect how gorgeous is that? This looks stunning. I can't wait to start working with this. And if any of you out there know the artist behind this artwork, please let me know because I can't believe I, I didn't save the information. Uh, and I would like to find more postcards from this artist or, or more artwork from this particular artist because it, this is so beautiful, it is breathtaking, beautiful. And this is also perfect because next year, 2024, um, in the lunar calendar or the Chinese zodiac is the year of the dragon. So I thought this green with the red is perfect for the year of the dragon. And I have to say, I'm in love with this. So I thought this would be for the first half of 2024 and maybe this one for the second half of 2024. Um, the color of this one is... where is it? Forest green and this one is fox red. So I thought these two go perfectly together for the year of the dragon. Um, this one from January through June and this one from July through December which is perfect like fall mm, gorgeous I'm still trying to find the perfect postcard for this one because at this point the postcard is just as important as the notebook as crazy as that sounds yes the postcard to me is as important as the notebook it's kind of like I mentioned, the personality, personality of the notebook, the face of my bullet journal. So I have to find the right postcard for this one. If I don't like a postcard that I, that I like for this one, I may go with this one. Because, let me show you. So I collect po postcard because I like them as the cover of my notebooks apparently. Well, I just like to collect them. And my plans for this one by the way I like keeping these because I only remove them when I start working with a notebook. That way it feels like I'm, I'm br like you know, breaking into a new notebook. I like that feeling of oof, taking this off and starting uh, to work with a notebook. Anyway, so I collect postcards. This one, these two are from Baumkuchen. This one I absolutely love. Leave space for the unknown. And this one, I may get the gray cover or this blue one. It goes perfectly. Look at that. Um, I'm not completely sold on this color for this particular postcard. I may go with the gray one that is part of this lineup or with a purple one. I would like something that makes this pop up. So this is an option, the postcard mostly. Uh, I really like this one for the second half of the year. Leave space for the unknown. 
Um, this is beautiful. Another one is this one, Travel Within, and this one does match beautiful with this red color. But I'm still hmm, not completely sold on this color scheme. Um, I have to find, I have a third one, it has the whale, and it, I think it says something like find your tribe, something like that. It's beautiful with the whale, and I have to find that one. That may go perfect with this red, the contrast. Ideally, ideally, I would like to have something green, so it kind of mirrors this one. So the green notebook with the red postcard, and the red notebook with the green postcard. That would be ideal, to have something that mirrors this one. That's why I'm looking... <laughs> please, if someone knows the artist of this, please let me know. Because I do have this one from Gillian Leather, but I'm not... I'm not loving it. I'm not crazy about that one. And I also have this one. But it feels too bright. I would like something to kind of bring down the color. Although this is perfect because September is Independence Day in Mexico. November is Day of the Dead. So this kind of Mexican theme, um, you know, design. I like the idea of this for the second half of the year, but for some reason it looks too bright for me. I don't know. So this is an option. And aside from that, yeah, I, I, I have this from Hobonichi, but I don't love any of these for this particular notebook. So I may either change the notebook or find the perfect postcard. So I'm still struggling with the second half of 2024, but for the first half, this is it. And it's perfect and I love it. And I bought these pencil boards and this one is kind of perfect for this one. Again, very whimsical, very dreamy, but it's too big. <laughs> so I may work with the uh, Hobonichi Weeks postcard. I like this one as, you know, for my dailies. Yeah, that's kind of perfect. I like that shade of green and this beautiful. I still, I'm still looking for the right, um, tabs. I, 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 I want red tabs ideally so it matches this or maybe orange tabs but yeah this is going to be I introduced you to my bullet journal for 2024. I still have to do a video on my um, you know my planning lineup <laughs> for 2024 um, I'm really, really excited about this. Oof, so happy. This feels mm, perfect. That's why I need a postcard that gets me super excited about my second bullet journal. Also, if you know an artist who does also some beautiful artwork, either in stickers or postcards, please share them on the comment section below. I would love to, you know, find more artists um, because I like, I like having a face for my bullet journal. Um, that's, I mean, the stickers are fine, but you know, these two speak more to me. They feel more formal. They feel more like, uh, like they have personality. They feel like, yeah, they feel like they have personality. And I think it's important to be excited about the, your planning tools because planning is not necessarily exciting. You have to plan tasks and errands. So if you can make it exciting with small details, go for it. So please share your favorite artists. I love uh, hearing back from you, all your, all, all your recommendations. They're very, very welcome. So yes. 
please feel free to share your favorite artists in the comment section and I would like to hear about your plans for 2024 what is your favorite notebook for bullet journaling or what kind of notebooks do you plan to work with in 2024 um, the themes that interest you uh, let me know I love hearing back from you and I'll see you in the next one